I've been getting a lot of comments. I mean, a lot of comments about dairy um, from men from different places. People, people reaching out. When are we going to do this in Cork? Uh, why isn't uh, <laughs> moving forward with this? Um, comments from men that found the confession powerful, uh, the testimony of the other men powerful. And uh, I mean, all I can say, this isn't me. This is Christ. This is Our Lady. I can I can tell you this is Our Lady because we have to preach a Catholicism now in Ireland. That's a Catholicism of a relationship with our Lord Jesus Christ. I wouldn't be so passionate about my faith if I hadn't met Christ face to face, looked into his eyes, understood his love for me. And he's, it's not like he comes in and he resolves everything in your life. He, he kind of leaves you there. Now, Robert, you do this homework. You do. It's amazing. I start talking and the lights start coming on and off. <laughs> I'm serious. This has happened a few times. He doesn't come in and resolve all of your problems. He comes in and he leaves you with your homework. He says, read the gospel, you know, perfect yourself, follow me. You know, uh, he didn't transform the apostles life the first day he met them. It was a process of conversion and metanoia of of um, turning to Christ, of understanding, of meditating on him and, and letting his word settle in our heart and letting his presence become more real every day. I mean, it's 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 a mystery. That's all I can say. But, you know, the Christ that I met is a person that I know can change lives. I know if you have a relationship with that God that became man, this God that's present body, blood, soul and divinity in the Eucharist. Um, he's going to change your life. And so I'm I'm kind of asking now that the, the Catholic Church in Ireland to have an examination of conscience on how we can better give people, show people that a personal encounter with Christ, a personal relationship with Christ, which is the only way to live Catholicism. There is no other way to live Catholicism other than a personal relationship with Christ. You cannot live it with a, as a set of rules and regulations. You have to enter into prayer. We have to teach a generation how to pray. We have to teach a generation how to respect themselves. We have to teach them the beauty of this faith. But it can only be done by us first living it and by leading others. And um, and so that, that's kind of my call out now uh, around Ireland. I, I know this is what Christ wants because he's raising up his apostles in Ireland at the moment. I can see this. You were looking around the landscape of what's happening. There's something transformative happening in Ireland and it will come together slowly. Um, but in God's time, in his time. So when will Cork happen? In God's time. You have to leave it to him. Um, this is what he wants. In God's time. Uh, in, and in the meantime, we just have to continue to give witness of this amazing relationship with our Lord Jesus Christ. He can transform life. Any man that's looking at my videos, because I know these videos are arriving to places I never expected. People that are not Catholic, that are coming to the church that haven't been to the church in years, that are wondering, what does this guy Robert Nugent have? Um, a little bit curious to see what I have. I, have. I am the most broken man, the sinner, and Christ has lifted me out of that and shown me the beauty of his love, his transformative love. He's able to get in there and transform lives. And that's all I'm offering. Um, and so it's, 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 um, it's uh, Advent, you know, take the time to go to confession now. Take the time to um, encounter Christ. The priest is Christ's minister. He acts in persona, Christi. And to any priests out there that may be struggling around Ireland, because many do. You know, I was in the seminary for nine years. I have many friends who are priests. I know the struggles. For any priests out there that are struggling, that have had problems, that have done stuff they're not proud of, he, Christ does not care about your past. He wants you to turn to him now and to minister, uh, you know, as a sinner, because we're all sinners, to minister for him, to give your, the light's gone on again, uh, to minister for others to, in his church, to help in his church, to turn to him. 
turn to him. We all as men need to turn to Christ now. Christ can only work with our present. He can't work with our past in the sense that yeah, the past is the past. Live in the present. Turn to Christ today. Harden not your hearts today if you if you encounter Christ. Um, and this is really the message that I want to give to men that are struggling around Ireland that are, you know, kind of turning to me for direction and, and so forth. Turn to Christ. Turn to Christ. I can tell you 100% without any doubt at all, if you go to Christ today in the Eucharist, in adoration if you can, and say, Lord, help me. Lord, lead me. Lord, put me in your grace. Lord, help me out in my life. He does it. He does it. He absolutely does listen. We only have to ask, if you read the Gospels, you will read that the people came to him and asking to be cured. The people fought. The crowds came. They went around. Christ can't cure, can't help those who sit at home and don't want to be helped. He can't get in there. He respects our will. Go to Christ. Go to Christ. 2023 will be an amazing year. There'll be lots of stuff coming up because there are lots of people that Christ has raised up in the church now that are coming together. I can see it. I can see it all around Ireland. He's putting us together. He's networking us together. We all see what we need to do now. We need to be as apostles. We need to preach of our encounter with Christ, which is real. Christ heals. He simply does. But you have to ask. You have to go into prayer. We need to go into prayer. We need to show people how to go into prayer, how to, how to talk to Christ and talk to him as you would talk to anyone. Have that relationship with Christ. Uh, Catholicism, can, Catholicism can't be lived without knowing Christ. And Christ wants to know you. He physically, he wants to get in there and work in your heart. He wants to transform it. Anyway, just a message to any men that are messaging me, you know, look at my channel and you might have issues, you might have problems and so forth. Go to confession. Talk them out. There's redemption for everybody. Nobody needs to live in pain. There's ways out of everything, no matter how bad your life is. No matter what you've done, Christ can heal. But he can't, he can't heal those who don't want to be healed. You have to ask. God bless. Take care. Bye-bye.